We have seen Gabumon's traditional mega, Metal Gururumon, teased all throughout the marketing of the Digimon 2020 reboot, and even directly in the show, as silhouettes and aura forms. But if you've been looking closely at things like the trading card game and the Digivice toy, you'll know that just like Agumon, Gabumon is being teed up to get an alternate mega in Digimon Adventure 2020. I'm talking about the bipedal, armor-wearing, and sword-wielding Crest Gururumon. This Beast Knight Digimon first debuted a few years back in 2017 for the 20th anniversary v pet and he has since appeared in a few other spots like the mobile game Digimon Re-Arise. Thing is, this guy has not yet appeared in an animated Digimon series, and just like Blitz Greymon, Digimon 2020 is going to be this Digimon's anime debut. Crest Garurumon has appeared both in the card game packaging, just like Blitz Greymon, as well as the Digivice game for the Adventure 2020 show, which has honestly served as a crystal ball into Digimon 2020, basically predicting tons of Digimon appearances in the new anime, from Blitz Greymon to Pegasus Mon to Millennium Mon. Now, if for some reason you're thinking, okay, a card game and a Digivice toy, that's not enough evidence that he's confirmed for the show. My counter argument would be that this is exactly what people were saying about Blitz Greymon before he showed up. It's only a matter of time until Crest Garurumon appears. Presumably we need Metal Garurumon first, which still hasn't happened as of episode 40 of the new series, but it's really only a matter of time. The other exciting thing, which I mentioned in my Blitz Greymon video, but the existence of Blitz Greymon and Crest Garurumon almost entirely confirms that Omegamon Alter S will have a role to play in the final act of Digimon Adventure 2020. Omegamon Alter S for the uninitiated is a variant of Omegamon or Omnimon. He's still the product of a Gabumon Mega and an Agumon Mega fusing, only instead of Metal Garurumon and War Greymon, he's born from Crest Garurumon and Blitz Greymon. And as you might expect, his gauntlets reflect that. He inherits a blade from Crest Garurumon and a blaster from Blitz Greymon. I think we'll definitely be seeing this as Omegamon has already appeared in the show as early as episode 2 in fact, and while it may be a triumph moment when the standard Omegamon returns, we'll likely have a scene where standard Omegamon is just not enough to take down the villain at hand and the team forms Omegamon Alter S instead, giving us one more new form, you know, one more surprise before the series wraps up. So that is Crest Garurumon explained in a short and sweet video. How do you think this form compares to Metal Garurumon or Zed Garurumon? Do you worry that Crest Garurumon's appearance will be really short and out of nowhere like Blitz Greymon's or do you think Toei heard the feedback and will make this Digimon's first appearance? appearance more of a momentous occasion. As usual, let me know by leaving a comment below. Hit like if you can and subscribe so you never miss a new Digimon video. Until then, take it easy. I'll see you in the next video.